this is Yami MT and today I'm going to walk you around my Honda CRF 250L. I've had this bike for about what, four months, four months, yeah. Done about 1,200 miles on it. It's pretty decent, mine, I'm not going to lie to you, it's, it's, it's a really good bike. Um, so yeah, I'll switch the camera around and show you what's going on and the bits I've done to it and talk about it. suggest you go and test drive one because they're really really good bikes especially for a 250 if um most of you didn't know the service intervals are every 8,000 miles on this bad boy um pretty easy bike pretty light obviously it's not the same power as a, a legit dirt bike but on the road you can't really go wrong with this it's a cracking bike for have. So yeah, I'll get into the mods that I've done. Um, modifications up front. I've added the Honda pad thing, whatever you call them. Not really too sure. Um, RNG heated grips. They're a must, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I've never had them on bikes before. Heated grips. But this is the first time I've been putting heat grips on a bike. They're really thick grips. Solid, they won't last you in a while. Can't go wrong with them. Um, I'll move right to the front. The indicators on this bike when you buy it are really chunky, like massive light bulbs here. So I'll put some LED ones on the front. Also done the same with the rear. Take them right to the back just so you can see. I have my number plate. There's the rear ones. Also done the tail tidy, just to neaten the back end up, because otherwise there's a massive arm st sticking out, you don't really want that. Uh, I've also added the FMF end cam, it's not a full system, it's just the end, um, it stops about here, if you didn't know, but fitting this end cam was pretty straightforward and you don't need to do anything else to the bike. As you can see from here, it's just a standard header, not a power bomb or anything like that. Um, you can do that if you want, but it's quite a bit of money. I just want the, the end Also, cam. one more thing I forgot to add is um, I'm going to insert a clip here showing you how the old exhaust sounded, the stock one. Um, I'm just going to fire up the FMF exhaust just so you all can see. And here, I have good it sounds. So. Stock sound of the CRF. 250L exhaust before putting on the FMF exhaust. This is the start up. decent you know I'm six foot six foot three away above average quite a big man um, and this bike does everything I'm not gonna lie to you it's powers through absolutely anything when you do sit on the bike though it's pretty soft so when you do sit on it it does it does drop quite a bit uh, but probably I say around, around about there when you're riding um, so don't worry about it being too high, the suspension's quite soft, you don't really feel any bumps in the road or anything like that, but overall it's a real, 
the other good bike. Or another thing I've done with it, if you change the indicators to LEDs, you will need to put a new flash relay, which is somewhere behind there. You don't have to, but I have done, just to slow the indicator flash down, because it goes on to, I think they call it a rapid flash, yeah. I'll fire it up to show you the dash as well. Focus on the dash. So yeah, as you can see, I've done 1,224 miles. Um, this is a bike with traction control, which is this button right here, you can see it. Just keep hold of it for turn it off, and then keep hold of it for turn it on again. That's just pretty simple. You have a clock. The only thing this bike doesn't have here is that gear indicator, which is pretty fine. You kind of know what gear you're in anyway, and it kind of kind of goes from any gear if you really want it to. But I don't suggest going from third, fourth, or fifth. But apart from that, it's a really good bike. The clutch is really good on it. Um, in first and second gear, it's really low speed. Uh, obviously, it's more balanced. On road and off, it does a balance to on road and off road, so it's not full on off road bike. The clutch is good, the throttle is good. I don't know, I can't really complain about the bike, I love it to bits. It's just recently had its service this morning. I'll show you a piece of paper with the job list on it, uh, the parts and stuff. It's the first piece of paper for the first service 120 English pounds, Jesus. I changed some oil and some gaskets, but. You gotta get it done in the UK if you still want your warranty. So if anything messes up with the bike, obviously you get it fixed. That's an overly loud car, needs to calm down. Um so yeah, that's everything I've done. LED is really bright on the back, as you can see. Uh put some sports skins on the back. I've not got around to putting any on the front yet because There's the monster. As you can see the FMF exhaust is pretty decent. Um, definitely worth the money for the sound if you like really obnoxiously like motorbikes like me. Because um, personally they just sound better and I think they're a safety tool on the road for idiots these days. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs>